to like it has more artist intent at the end of the day and but i'm doing something that i don't think i would have ever done this project without ai so i'm also like finding new outlets and, and exploring ideas i would have probably thought were too ambitious before i think had trying to do this like the traditional way with like houdini still would have like lent it you would still do you'd still have creative compromise with the previous tools. I think there's a world in the future with AI where there's like less creative compromise. And I think any project, live action, animation, you're always making creative compromise. You're negotiating with yourself of like, you know, you're backed into a corner a lot of the time with timelines and you're like, do you like option A or option B? And you're like, kind of neither, but we're out of time. So I guess option B, but it'd be nice if there was C. And now you have all these options and ways where you can like feed that time spent in like, you could waste like weeks trying to get like a 3D render right. And it still looks like crap, but then you're kind of like out of time and you have to use it. So it's about like take reallocating the time that could be spent bogged down at bottlenecks of, of technical reasons and feeding that back into the creative to do something much more ambitious or, or audacious. 